Swimming World TV joined by Maxime Rooney. He's already a four-time Short Course 2011 Far Western Champion. Uh, Maxime, we're only on day number three in the prelims, so we're already halfway through the final sessions. You've already got four titles. Which of those has been the best swim in your mind? Uh, I really like the 200 free because uh, I got pretty close to that record set by uh, Neil Silverthorne, uh, 146.23. I got, I was .2 off of that, and yeah, it was a really fun swim. Are you going to get another chance to go after that record? Uh, well, I, I'm aging up in a few weeks, so I don't think so. So you know the national age group records, are you aware of that just because Nick swims for Pleasanton, or do you know a lot of other national age group records? Um, I'm aware of the other uh, national records, uh, but since Nick's on my team, uh, he set the team record, so yeah, I want to chase after that too. What can you learn from a guy like Nick, who came through the 11-12 year old bracket with your coach Todd Tucker and, and set some national age group records and really excelled? What can you learn from Nick's experience? Um, I definitely learned that like if well, my coach Todd, uh, if you have like a goal, he'll get you there. Like he'll uh, do as like as much as he can to get you there. That's awesome. So, 200 freestyle on day one. Then yesterday you won the 100 freestyle. You also won the 100 butterfly and the 50 butterfly. Which would you consider your best stroke? Um, I think they're pretty even. Um, yeah, I think my freeze is a little sh like stronger though. What makes you so good at the freestyle? What technically are you doing with your stroke? Uh, better than any 11 or 12 year old here. Um, well, my coach, uh, Coach Todd, again, uh, and like since uh, I, I'm in my 200 free, I usually go out pretty fast. Um, but like my uh, coach uh, wants me to like uh, excel throughout the race. So, so I like build through it. Yeah, build. There's the way. Um, so um, yeah, I just think uh, maintain like uh, my kick, like six beat. Yeah. And like a long strip. Yeah, because you look so smooth out in front. What are you doing when you're thinking about catch or rotation or let's get technical? I mean, are you thinking about anything when it comes to your technique in that freestyle? Uh, I usually do what like is uh, instinct and like I know what's wrong and like what happens. Like right after my race, I can go up to my coach and say like this is what, uh, like what's wrong. Like my flip turn was too close or my flip turn was too long. My uh, left hand was jammed. In there or something. Yeah. So you swam the 500 this morning. Is that more of your type of uh, freestyle, a little bit of a mid-distance to distance, or do you like those sprint events a little bit more? Um, I like uh, like the 100 free, 200 free, and as well I just like the 500. I don't really like the 50 because that's just like luck. Yeah. So here at Far Westerns, you have to race against the 11 and 12 year olds. But a couple, like a couple weeks ago, a month ago, I saw you at the Super League Finals racing with some of the older kids. Which do you like more, racing with your age group, where you get a lot of open water and you can just kind of dominate the field, or do you like that competition? Uh, I like the competition because uh, as like your competition goes faster, you want to like chase after them so you can catch up. Do you go faster with those when you swim against the older kids? Uh, I think so. Good stuff. So what are some of your goals going forward? You, I mean, I know you had that national age group record as a goal short term, but long term, what are some of your goals going forward? Uh, well, right now I have a few sectionals. Uh, I want to get like most of them, and then uh, I'd say like Grand Prix and then Junior Nationals and Nationals. Good stuff. Maxime, congratulations on a great start to this championship. Best Thank of luck finishing you. it off. Thank you.